Hello, you're welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to draft a princess that busty with a basque waistline. Okay, so let's switch from the normal flat waistline and add some styles to our dresses. Okay, so please, we'll be drafting a basque waistline dress. Okay, so enjoy. So I have my basic bodies here, the bust points, the under bust and the waistline. Okay, so ordinarily we would have stopped at the waistline. So adding a basque waistline now, you go down by at least 5 inches from your waistline. Remember, like at least 5 inches from your waistline. So that's the line I just drew now. That's the back waistline. We'll, be, we'll use this for the extension. Okay, so I'll go ahead and create the armhole. Okay, so um, I have a series of videos about this. Find the midpoint of that and go in by 3 quarter inch. Create the armhole curve. Okay, then I'll go on and fix in my nipple to nipple distance divided by 2. So my 7 divided by 2, that's 3.5 for the dart placement. So I mark this 3.5 down to the basque waistline also. Then connect it with the straight line. So for my princess dart bust here, I'll be marking the 2 inches on just one side. The side that is close to the arm or that is the side of the, yeah, towards the side. Just like so on the video. Okay, so I stop under the bust. Then use my curve ruler to connect the 2 inches down to the 3.5 just like so okay so now i went i, I went ahead and fixing my bust run the cut of my bust run measurement on the upper chest line as you can see okay so i measured that round then i found the midpoint mark the midpoint that's the way i'm doing okay then from the midpoint, I came down by half inch. Okay, then I connect it to my um, dart placement. Then went up by one inch. Then connect it on both sides with half inch. Okay, so that one inch dart, I also extend this by one inch. Okay, just watch the video carefully so that you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so... That is it about the dart. Okay. Okay, so now my bust round divided by four. That's um eight point five, then two inches for the same allowance. Okay, then down to my waistline, my waist round divided by four, seven plus two inches for the dart allowance and also two inches for the same allowance. So that's what I just measured now. Okay, so I stopped on the waistline. So it's the same line. You just extend down to the basque or you just leave it like that. You can just leave it empty or you just create a dotted line the way I did now. Okay, because we won't, that won't really matter. Okay, so I went ahead and create, create your desired neckline. If it's V-neck or round neck, so I just want to go for a round neck of about 6 inches depth and 4 inches width. Okay. So, then I'll cut this out. So, I forgot to shape that side. So, I need to give it a good curve then. Then we'll cut it out carefully. Just watch the way I cut this out. Okay. So, now, we need to make sure these two pattern matches. After removing the dart, you need to make sure they match. You can see the lines align. And at the shoulder too, it went so well. So now I have to cover the dart. Cover the dart and just... Yes, in order to create my basque waistline. This is the deal. Now, so make sure you cover the dart. You overlap. And just cross and just rule it like so. From the side seam down to your center front. But make sure you remove and cover your dart first. In order to get a good result. It's very important. Then make sure you cross check. Please. Okay, so for the back pattern, I have the basic bodies too for the back. There's nothing much at the back. Our main focus is on the front pattern. So your back piece will stop at the waistline, your exact waistline. We are not smacking any um basque on the back waistline. So just fixing your normal dart 
or you can still use your princess dart at the back but i'll just be using my normal dart then fixing your body measurement just like i'm doing okay and create your neckline make sure your neck width will be the same thing with front but you can use a different neck depth okay so that is it so after using 3.5 i just decided to add more half inch to my neck depth okay so and that is it for the back so we'll go ahead and cut it out it's just the basic pattern for a back i have series of videos on how i draft my busy bodies on my back pattern so you can check it out okay okay so i went ahead and cut out the fabric then remember to add your joining allowance so this is the center front i'll be using the velvet material for my front then the main african print for the back remember to add your joining allowance and this is the back so i'll go on and fix it that and join the front together okay okay so we are going to put the two front pieces together the upper and the lower part together make sure they join at the waist just the way i'm doing make sure they join at the waist okay and the center make sure the center falls at the right place then you map it out just the way i'm doing Map it out carefully with a chalk so it's not cleared enough so i went ahead to make it more obvious with another color of chalk so this is what we have and, uh, at least you can see it now okay so i went to secure it with a pin so that white cutting it won't be yeah so i went ahead we're not going to cut exactly on the part i marked so i went up by half inch so that we use the other one as the joining allowance so don't cut exactly on the marked point so this is it so you now start sewing you start joining from the middle from the center place them at yes just like so at the center so you sew one side first you stitch on one side then go ahead and stitch the other side carefully please you have to be careful so this is what i have okay so remember your bust can be deeper than this it depends on your choice you can go above five inches so this is what we have the front and the back joined together i hope you find this tutorial helpful please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe okay so thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next video bye